you are ever in Wyoming, you simply must visit the Northwest region. The region's main attraction is its parks. Arguably the most famous national park in the USA, Yellowstone was the first of its kind in the world, established as a national park in 1872. It is home to one of the most active underground thermal hotspots on the planet. Hundreds of amazing geysers and hot springs, and the wellspring for eight major U.S. rivers. The most famous is Old Faithful, named for its routine and reliable eruption. Old Faithful blasts to life about every 90 minutes. You can also walk among smaller, more unpredictable geysers on location. Just an hour drive away is another popular destination named the West Thumb Geyser Area. Here you can view several hot springs, but swimming is not a great idea. The water can reach temperatures of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. For some high altitude serenity, pay a visit to Yellowstone Lake, the largest body of water at its elevation in North America. The water is crystal clear and you get a great view of the mountains. Probably the most spectacular attraction in Yellowstone is its abundant wildlife. Buffalo, which once roamed this area in massive herds, are resurgent and visible all over the park. But take care in approaching them and do not get too close. There are more human deaths due to buffalo than any other animal in the park. You may also see coyote, mule deer, American white pelican, osprey, and moose. And, at a distance, you might spot the powerful and elusive grizzly bear. Brown, black, and grizzly bears look very similar, but a grizzly bear has a concave nose, rounded ears, a lump on its back, and long grizzly fur. The lump on its back is a muscle used for digging for food. There are many trails that are great for viewing wildlife, but I suggest stopping where visitors are stopped and enjoying wildlife that others have already found. Head outside the park and discover still more fascinating landscapes and wildlife. Shoshone National Forest is just to the east of Yellowstone. The drive alone is worth it. The rock landscapes along the road are quite impressive and you might get lucky and see some longhorn sheep. A drive further east will bring you to Cody, Wyoming. This tourist town is famous for being the rodeo capital of the USA. A bull along the main road was helping draw people to the rodeo at Stampede Park. If you're looking for a real piece of the Wild West, stop into Irma's. Buffalo Bill Cody himself built Irma's in 1902. It is a true cowboy eatery. The real bullet hole in the bar was only recently patched up. Continuing east, you'll find incredibly diverse landscapes within the Bighorn National Forest. This area contains 189,000 acres of wilderness, 1,500 miles of trails, and glacier-formed valleys that make it unique to any other national forest. South of Yellowstone is the Grand Teton National Park and one of the most picturesque mountain ranges in the world. The range is known for three peaks, the South Teton, the Middle Teton, and the Grand Teton. The Tetons were formed by seismic activity along the Teton Fault. One side of the fault pushes upward while the other is pushing downwards. The downward side is the Jackson Plain, and the upward side is the Teton Mountain Range. And just south of all of this is the charming town of Jackson. This town is a cultural center for art, entertainment, and recreation. Its town square features the world's largest elk antler arches. Whether you visit for the scenery, the wildlife, or the Wild West, put Northwest Wyoming on your list of top destinations.